Hello, hello everybody. Hello you guys, I am Sarah Page Gruber. Um, sorry, I had to swap out some things that I was doing today because um, something was out of stock, so I'm good. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Linda. Okay, so I'm gonna do a cute, everything's always cute. So I'm gonna do a cute, fun jar cutout project very easy. I'm going to show you how to kind of um, zhuzh it up a little, but really when I do that, I'm really like taking it down a notch. So um, if you know me at all, and you may not, um, I love to distress. I love to make things look old and worn out. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to show you a few options. We're going to start with our regular jar cutout. Um, all of you guys watching, um, if you are customers and you love what I'm going to show, what I show you, you can tag your designer, um, the person who invited you in here, right in the comments, and they will help you get your hands on the stuff. So jar cutout, it's wooden. It's beautiful, but I'm gonna distress it. Now, I like to really get in there and distress things. You could use sandpaper or a sanding block. Um, it's pretty easy to use a sanding block. It just takes, like it will take me a few minutes to really get this to where I want to. So I'm gonna break out my electric sander. Now, you don't need one. Sanding can be very therapeutic, actually. So you don't need one, but when I'm doing a video, I like to kind of be quick about things. So I have a sander, it is electric. I don't know, my husband bought it for me. Um, it's just like a normal brand that you can find at any hardware store. All right, and it you just put sandpaper on it. I probably need to replace that, but we're gonna do this one anyway real quick. So, hold tight. And I'm done. Now, if you were using your block, your sanding block or your sandpaper, it just would have taken a little bit longer. Put on a movie or listen to your podcast and sand your wood. I am addicted to it. I'm just gonna clean up my little sanding mess real quick. Of course, it's not a chalk couture project product. That's just something extra that I do often. In fact, I love adding our chunky wooden cutouts. As plain as this might be, I would add a little bit of jute or something and I could use this by itself completely plain. I love the look of our wooden stuff. All right, let me now get to work. Once we have sanded this, you guys, um, we're gonna wax it, okay? So, got a little bit of our surface wax. Good morning, Elizabeth. And I've got my um, waxing applicator and I'm just gonna do little circles. And I'm gonna go all around, mostly because I wanna make sure it's, um, this does kind of give a really light coat sealant on the top of your finish. After I feel how smooth it is, and it should be very smooth, not tacky at all, I'm flipping over my um, thing and I'm just gonna kinda like buff any extra off. Make sure it's so smooth. That's what you want, you want smooth wax surface. Okay. Hi Janet. All right, so we are good. We've got our, I'm gonna, 
you got to put it closer to me and you can see it better. If I hold it up, I know you can see it. You can swipe your comments out of the way too if they get in the way. Um, all right, so the colors I've chosen today, I'm going to use Storm. That is our gray color. And I'm going to use this from the single jar cutout. Now I have to explain to you. This is where I had to like get creative. This is the only transfer I have with a single jar cutout and I need it for an expo that I'm doing, so I can't actually use this. But I have the old jar cutout bloom, block bloom. So I'm just gonna use the jar cutout image from this. So as not to confuse you, this we have, and you can, if you don't have a jar cutout um, image, that's what I'm using. And that's what will be listed in the actual um, um, the list of products that I'm using. But because I can't actually use it, I'm going to steal the outline of the jar from this transfer. Now, if you happen to have this transfer, you could use it as well. I'm only going to use the jar outline. That's it. And we're going to do it in Storm. Okay, so I'm going to grab, I'm just going to use a mini squeegee here. We're going to stir this up. There we go. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And I'm just going to off my little stir stick there. Okay, nice and smooth, and here we go. I am going to just squeegee the jar outline and the lid outline. It's hanging off the edge. I habitually like hold down my transfer. Just, I don't know. It's, it's a habit and, um, it's probably a good habit because if you use your transfers as much as I do there, you know that the first time you use a transfer versus the, you know, fifth or sixth or eighth time you use a transfer, it can, be a different experience. So our transfers are meant to be able to be used over and over, but not forever. Eventually that sticky will um, deteriorate even with the correct use. You're, you'll still get eight to 12 or more uses out of it, especially if you do what I do and make sure you hold it down. Now this is plenty sticky and I have used it multiple times. So here I have, I, I wasn't quite straight, but cause I, um, because I um, sanded it, it's not that obvious. All right, this needs to get washed. So I'm gonna take it over to my water real quick and just wash it as quickly as I can. I'm using my hands and my board eraser. Super easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. All right, so that is good and clean. I forgot to fuzz that transfer, but I'm gonna tell you that it was used and so it wasn't super sticky. The next transfer I use is brand new and I'm gonna fuzz it. So I just wanted to let you know. I am gonna dry this off though. Make sure that my chalk is dry before I do anything else. Hope you guys are having a good Saturday morning. I'm having my coffee. Set that down. 
if I forget to drink it, it's going to get cold. Okay, I am done with that color. Storm is like my favorite color. I use it on almost everything. I really love um, uh, how versatile it is and how you can put it anywhere in your house. So now I imagine, hi Krista, I imagine that we could make a set of these. You could do three. Well, I would do three because I always decorate in odd numbers, but you could do four or two or just one um, with the herbs. And um, I'm actually going to do, oh gosh, at first I was going to do, yeah, I'm going to do oregano. I want to do them all. But you, so I have in my kitchen, I have three, it's really weird, um, I have this end sh end cabinet and it has like this tiny skinny shelf and there's three of them and they're just like on the end of the cabinet and I'm like what do you even put there because what can you fit there because the shelf is really actually small. I can easily put these there so I'm going to do this and I'm going to put it on the shelf. Um, and stage it and take my picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Hi, Christy. All right, so we have this is already, it's already been waxed. This is brand new, so I'm gonna label the back. Gotta watch my time, because I'm usually long-winded. I'm, I'm the one who you're like, go live for just a quick 15 minute live, and she takes 40 minutes. I am gonna fuzz this. So grab my fuzzing cloth and I'm just gonna go once, twice, three times. And that should be good. I'm gonna put my oregano on here. This is a seasoning I actually use because <laughs> I do cook Italian food. And pesto, I feel like is a perfect color with a little, tiny ombre of sage. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to open up the pesto. This has seen better days, let me tell you. I used it yesterday. I'm like, oh. All right. And we have our, we have our two colors. I am going to do sage, which is our lighter. And I'm just going to drop some sage in the leaves, okay? And then I'm gonna do pesto for everything else. I'm gonna like cover it in, it's kind of ombre kind of hot mess, okay? Do you wanna see what I did? I literally just dropped some sage drop some sage. All right, now I'm going to go into the pesto, which is a much deeper, darker color. I'm going to do my words, or my word, my letters, for oregano. And I'm just going to kind of start blending those colors together. Perfect. Now I'm not going to put that back in the container because it's all wonky different colors. Thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna peel this up. Oh, it looks perfect. Now I wanna show you. Look at how those colors kind of blended together. I think it's really cool. Let me wash this real quick and we'll finish our project. I'm gonna dry this. Don't wanna ruin it. Thank you, Christy. All right, now I'm gonna add a little fun something. I have, um, I have some gray jute. I have some regular jute. And I have, I have a little, as you know, Oh, 
I'm going to put some green, but if I can't, I have a roll of, I'm looking for it. Let me measure this out. So jute is so easy to find, you guys. You can just um, find it, gosh, anywhere. Your local craft stores, even a Walmart, you'll be able to find it. Um, I, okay, so since I can't find my little leafy things, I'm going to grab this is kind of leafy leafy hold on maybe it's over here maybe not. no but I, I I have this like ribbon that is very um, leafy and I just used it and I must clearly it's my fault I must not have put it back. So I have this stuff that's, it kind of looks like, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like something kind of green and moss. I don't know. But it's going to do. You could throw in some regular leaves too, but I really like the ribbon that I have. All right. So we're going to wrap this around. And we're going to do a little off-center tie. I don't know if I like that as much. Ugh. Just give me some leaves. I don't want sparkly leaves. Uh, you know what? I have some. Hold on. I apologize. Because usually have my stuff right where I need it, but today I didn't. So we'll just put a little bit of just regular leaves. I wanted the ribbon as soon as I turn this off. Y'all know I'm going to find it. It's going to be like right in plain sight. <gasps> I just found it. I know why I couldn't find it now. It's a much better size than the... You could do the big one. Karen, it is such an easy project, but it really is cute. Like, you'll get compliments. So here we go. We're going to... This is like wired... I'm not sure... How much I need but it's like a wired ribbon and I can move it around however I want I'm gonna try to tie this pretty tight I will do a double knot I always do and now here's I'm gonna trim this to where it's kind of like a little bit Remember, this is wired so I can move it. I'm going to take each one of these and I'm going to untangle it. Like I'm going to twist it backwards and separate the little fibers. It's like taking the braids out of your hair after you've had it braided. Um, if you have a hard time doing it with your fingers, our um, detail tool... You take the little rubber end off and you get to the point pokey tool. This will help you. You can twist it and just poke that into the fibers and pull and it will untwist. It is a super tiny detail on your project, but it makes a big difference than leaving it just the plain naked ends. That's how I feel. I'm like, nope, we gotta, we gotta fix this so that, you know, we can kind of curve that around a little bit. 
Can you see? Kind of cute. It does make a big difference to have that unwound. Got a little bit of knot in there. There we go. And I feel like you could even tuck this under if you want it to like do a certain thing. There, I kind of tucked it. Cute, easy, simple, and it will fit on a little shelf. You can put it in a tear tray, so easy. Thank you, Sandra. Yes, Linda, I'm obsessed with sanding and untwisting my jute. Okay, you guys, I hope you love this. Remember, we got a little um, visitor here. Hi. It's my son, Ryan. Um, he needs me to take him somewhere. There are three more designs. You've got rosemary, thyme, and parsley. So you could do multiple jars and you can put them in different areas in your kitchen or dining room or wherever, or by your herb garden. I don't have one of those, but you might. Um, thank you for watching. Remember, tag your designer in the comments. Just type out their name and they will help you find what you need to create this for yourself. All right, everybody, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you around.